Hi guys, Strapsmith back here. I wanted to take a minute to go through the different Apple Watch variations and to help you determine which strap width you need to order. As you can see, the Apple Watch comes in the Apple Watch Sport, which is brush cased, the stainless steel case, and the limited editions case. So lots of different bands for the Apple Watch, uh, both for 38 millimeter and 42 millimeter. I'll start out with going through the most important thing here. If you have the Apple Watch in the stainless steel or the precious metal version that comes with a leather strap with this type of attachment, you do not need to order the aftermarket adapters. <clears throat> if you do not order the aftermarket adapters, the strap width you need to order for the 38 millimeter Apple Watch is 20 millimeters wide. If you have the 42 millimeter larger Apple Watch, the strap width you need to order without the aftermarket adapters is 22 millimeters wide. This is the only style, again, that the strap can be changed out with because of this type of lug. If you have any of the other style of bands, such as these rubber bands here, the bracelet style here, or even this style, you'll need to order the aftermarket adapters. Now, here's the catch. If you order the aftermarket adapters for the 38 millimeter Apple Watch, this smaller variation here, the strap width you'll need to order is 22 millimeters wide as the adapters take a wider strap. If you order the 42 millimeter version aftermarket adapters, you'll need to order a 24 millimeter wide strap. In either case, if you have the strap version that is leather and you do not need the aftermarket adapters, you'll still need one of these pentalobe screwdrivers, which you can find on my Amazon link or going to Amazon or Google. These are those little five star head links. This is what the aftermarket adapters look like, or if you order or have the Apple Watch with the leather strap, when you slide the attachment out, this is what the back looks like. These are the pentalobe screws and screwdriver I was talking about. Or if you order the aftermarket adapters, this is what they look like. Again, you have two pentalobe screws you'll need to remove here and here. These pins or bars slide out and detach in the middle. You'll slide the bars in through the end of the strap. Take the long metal bar piece here with the black strips up. Insert the pins into the little receiving holes, which are here. Reinsert the screws, tighten down. Those little micro screws do come with blue Loctite on them, so they shouldn't release once you have them uh, snug down securely. I do have the aftermarket adapters uh, on my side for sale, and if you purchase them from me, I will install them on the strap if you order it. I have the 38 millimeter and 42 millimeter in the uh, stainless steel and the PVD or black version. Do not have anything for the aluminum yet, which I haven't seen, but I've been brushing the uh, loops here and the uh, end of the adapter, so it does work with the aluminum sport watch. Thanks, guys. Hope that helped a, little, a bit. I'm trying to reduce the emails coming in, questions on the Apple Watch straps. So, again, review the rest of the blog post. Also, for length, Again, see the rest of the blog post or the frequently asked questions and it'll help you assess which length you need to order. Cheers. Have a great day.